Hey, I'm doing a quick video on how to change the transaxle, which is this unit that this unit that turns right here. See that? It's right in this area right here. Um, if you crashed your drone, typically those will break if it hits hard. And I crashed mine and I am changing the transaxles on the front of the drone and I figure I do a quick video for you to see how easy it is and where to get the parts. Um, parts are available on Amazon or through DJI Direct and you can buy the transaxles really cheap. It was um, uh, this would have been like $300 to fix and I fixed it for $22 so and that was two transaxles replaced. Anyway, uh, the video's um, kind of amateur because I just set up a GoPro and started filming. Um, but you'll see the steps I take to do this. And it, it takes about, uh, at the max, 10 minutes per side. This is a DJI Mini Pro 4. And um, it actually crashed and broke... Um, one of the legs and this back arm too. I'm gonna change this part right inside here with a part that I received. It's basically a front arm axle. So, and you need to get it for the right model, otherwise it's not gonna work. And if you you need to be okay with dealing with very small parts with very tiny screws and tweezers so in the kit you get you get a tweezers you get this screwdriver you get this little pry tool and then you get your axle part and it's pretty it's pretty easy honestly you just got to make sure that the part goes into the aircraft properly and that you get the part into the control arm correctly. So, and make sure it's, you know, right side up, all that good stuff. First, I'm going to take out the broken part. It's broken there. That's why this fell off. So it broke from this piece. And basically you're just going to remove all three screws in here. And I need to face it towards me to see it right now. And watch your wires for your, for your um, motor. And don't lose your screws because they're very, they're very small. And they're hard to find, especially on carpet. And that's why I'm working on white. For you to visually see it and for me to visually see it better. It also helps to have a little headlamp or a little flashlight, like so. So here's the part. I just removed all the screws. I'm going to pull it out. And now we're going to put the new part in, okay? So here's the new part. It can only go in one way. You can see that this, the way it's shaped, fits in like on that, right? Like so. Okay? But it's smart to put the screws in, at least a couple of them get two started they're very tiny parts and if you have big hands or big fingers it's hard to work with some of this stuff so I'm gonna put this part in right now and get the two started so I want to Tip it up. I have to tip it up off camera quick. 
you want to hold it upright and line up the screws and again be careful of your control arm wires you don't want to rip them out otherwise you got to take the whole aircraft body apart so I have two of them in right now um, just started putting them in I'm gonna grab the slats I wish I let me see I'm gonna fold one of these in I'm gonna fold this one in so I can demonstrate better so this last screw I'm gonna use the tweezers to pick it up and then I grab the flathead it's it's a little difficult getting that in there but I did and then just set it in place and then get your screwdriver in there to to tighten them so I got all three of them in there I removed the old piece first installed this now I'm gonna that's done so now I'm gonna remove these screws right here and that holds the other side of this piece in the the silver side of it make sure where you get your parts I get all my stuff it's DJI like original so this this is where you could use that little pry tool that comes with the kit on the last one I did I used the, these tweezers I just got I gripped an edge okay so now this is gonna push onto that shaft and once we get it in there make sure your motors up once I get it in there I'll I'll tighten the screws down so this should operate now and then you want to make sure this piece right here you want to make sure it pushes beyond that piece that's very important otherwise the screws are not going to go in properly and that arm will be loose so the bottom screw is already in there i'm going to take the top screw and just set it in there And guide screw it in don't force it just snug it up not not over tighten it okay that's done that's it that's how you do it I replaced two of them now I got to replace some blades on it but there you go I got two new control arms and it wasn't very expensive and it, it's not hard to fix. This one I'm just gonna super glue till my other part comes in. So, yeah. Home point updated. Everything looks perfect, even the gimbal. See me move, I'm moving the gimbal right now. Yeah, it's working great. I thought I was going to have to replace the gimbal part, but I replaced four props and two axle arms. Applies excellent. Everything is working great. Including the screen.